end of line. Then we'll stop it. Today we're going to work on rounding to the nearest 10. And we're going to look first at two digit numbers. Think of a number like 47. If we're rounding to the nearest 10, what I want us to think about doing is underline the digit in the tens place. That's going to be our first step. And then let's think about what our answer choices could be. If we're going to round up, this 4 could become a 5. If we're going to round down, then it's just going to stay 4. And then everything ends in a 0 when we round. Every digit that is to the right of that underlying digit is going to be changed to a 0 because we're rounding. So all of our answers when we round are going to end in 0. So our only choices are 50 or 40. And to make our determination, we're going to look at the digit directly to the right of the underlying digit. In this case, it's the digit in the ones place. And we're going to ask ourselves a very simple question. Is that digit a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, or a 9? If it is a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, 9, we will round up. And we would select 50 as our answer. Think of a number line. It's another way of thinking of it. You don't need to draw a number line each time, but think of a number line where your two answer choices are plotted on the number line so that you have a 40 and then you also have a 50. And right in the middle you'd have a 45. 47 would be about right there and it is closer to 50. So your answer would be 50. It would round to 50. Let's look at another one really quickly. Take the number 83. And let's go through the steps. Let's underline the digit in the tens place because we're rounding to the nearest 10. Think about our answer choices. If we round up, the 8 is going to become a 9. That's going to be 9. If we round down, that's going to stay as an 8 and it's going to be 80. So those are going to be our two answer choices. And again, it's going to depend on looking at the digit directly to the right, which in this case is a 3 not a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, so I'm going to round down. So 83 would round down to 80. And if you want to kind of check yourself, you draw a little number line, you put your 80 there, your 90 there, your 85 in the middle, and then you'd plot 83 about where it would be on the number line, which you can see it would be closest to 80, so it does check. 83 would round down to 80. One more example. If we had the number 76, top answer, if I rounded up, I would change the 7 to an 8 and I would have 80. If I rounded down, the 7 would say 7 and I would have 70. And it would depend on the digit in the ones place which I circle. And I'd ask myself, is it a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9? And of course you can see it's a 6. So I'm going to round up. So 76 would round up to 80. And those are all the steps we take to rounding. Very important that we think of place value. 